Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys four powder snowboards that are also true twins. Now, if you've ever ridden a traditional powder snowboard, usually it has a taper, so it has a larger nose and smaller tail, and this just helps the tail of the board sink and the nose of the board float through that powder. And if you've ever tried to ride a powder board switch, it's actually very difficult because it's hard to keep that nose of the board up out of the snow and you're putting a lot of your weight onto your back foot to keep that nose up. So with a true twin, it's gonna give you that ability to, to float, but also to ride switch and do tricks. So these are four boards that claim that they can do it. The first one is the Battalion Magic Carpet. The interesting thing about the Magic Carpet is that in the nose and tail, it has Battalion's 3BT technology. 3BT is basically, if you can imagine the hull of a boat, it's gonna drive through the powder snow and guide the snow out the sides. Also, when you're riding from edge to edge, it's gonna be very smooth, rocking back and forth because of that hull shape. And because that hull shape is in the nose and the tail, you can ride it in either direction and you're not gonna feel any difference. So that's the first board, the Battalion Magic Carpet. The second board is actually the exact opposite. It's the Yes 2020. So instead of a nose and tail like a hull, it has a concave nose and tail. So with the Yes 2020, you can ride it in either direction. It makes sense that that concave shape will help you to float, but I'm not sure how smooth it's gonna be edge to edge. It's almost counterintuitive with the turning motion but definitely a board that I can see floating really well in powder. The next two snowboards are also opposite, but similar in some ways. The first one is the Burton Trick Pilot, and the Trick Pilot, it's a true twin camber snowboard, but as you get towards the tip and tail, there's a flat section followed by a rocker section, and I can imagine that this flat to rocker will really help the board to float in powder, I don't know if it's gonna be as effective as some of the other snowboards, but the idea of the flat to rocker section really makes sense for helping it to float in powder. The next board is the LibTech Double Dip, and it has pretty much the opposite camber profile with the rocker in the center of the board with camber under your feet. And that rocker right in the center actually helps to lift the rest of the snowboard up out of the snow. And I've had the chance to ride a similar board, the GNU Space Case. I did find that riding it through powder that rocker in the center really did help it to float. So the LibTech Double Dip with that camber profile and the added surface area, I can really see it floating well in powder in either direction. All right guys, so those are four twin powder snowboards, each with a unique technology to help it float in powder. It'd be great to hear your thoughts in the comments. And also if there's any true twin powder snowboards that I missed, it'd be great to hear about them in the comments as well. I'll put links to all these boards in the description if you wanna check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have fun with your snowboarding and I'll see you in the next one soon.